talk about one issue uh, with the time we have left. Uh, there is uh, certainly a movement, if not a orchestrated movement of some large size going on in America today that is stating that uh, according to the Constitution and the Founding Fathers that uh, there was no need for freedom from religion uh, and that uh, only freedom of religion is guaranteed in the Constitution and a lot of people are saying that that's all there needs to be. Uh, how do you address that? How do you tell people exactly your opinions on that? And what, is, what is the need? What is the difference in the need between uh, freedom from religion and freedom of religion as, uh, as atheists see it? I feel very strongly about that. First of all, there is no freedom of religion unless there is freedom from religion. You can't, you just can't have one without the other. It, it, it's a misdescription to say you can, well, you can pick any religion you want as long as you pick a religion and call that religious freedom. That's just, that's just not correct. By having true religious freedom where you have freedom from religion, freedom to believe or not believe, that not only is good for us, it's, it's good for everybody. That gives everybody the freedom to think as they, as they see fit. And I think that's the kind of freedom that our founding fathers had in mind. But I think it's the right way, whether, whether it's what they had in mind or not. So I think freedom that's, of religion would be covered under freedom from religion if there absolutely, was that, Absolutely, right? absolutely. Well, actually one necessitates the other, is that correct? I mean, yes. In order to have freedom of religion, you're saying we have to also start out with freedom from religion, right. if you so want. Right? If, you, if you choose to opt out of the choice altogether, that's the question. And an atheist wants to do that, right? Just, that's what an atheist up. wants to do, but we also support anybody believing whatever they want. They have the right to do that. We support their right to believe. And we find that we have allies who support our right not to believe. And those are our friends. And there's, but there's some out there that say that, that uh, you shouldn't have that freedom, that you need to uh, pick one from column A or column B, but you've got to have a religion or a god or something like that. And, and that's not right. That's not true. It, it just doesn't, doesn't work. You find there are some religious people also who agree with you that freedom from religion is necessary in this country? Yes, absolutely. We have, we have allies among the religious. We have, there are large groups that, that uh, are involved, uh, uh, that involve many religious groups that, for example, support strict separation of church and, and state. And I don't see how we can say that those people are anything but our friends, because that, that increases our freedom. That gives the, the atmosphere where, where religious freedom can truly blossom when the church and state are not interconnected. Well, there are a few things that uh, have been called violations of separation of church and state right here in Austin. Uh, first of all, we mentioned this a minute ago about prayers and city council meetings, but there is also a monument to the Ten Commandments at the U.S. Capitol, I mean the state capitol, Texas state capitol, and uh, Exactly how do atheists feel about these? Are these really considered to be violations or are they just minor little problems that the religious impose upon other people uh, that should be ignored or blown off? Is there, is there something that is important in that? Do atheists feel that these are real violations? I feel it's an important, if, if they're symbolic, they're symbolic of the, the, Oh, go on, I can't do this. Um, I think they're symbolic of uh, how Christianity specifically um, is held as um, infiltrating every area. Um, one of the things that uh, we all deal with every day is money. And, you know, there, there we have God. Well, somebody's God. Who's God? Which God? Um, but these these little symbols are saying to us that we don't have the freedom. This is our government, too. There are probably some violations that are more serious than others. Having said that, though, having a monument on the, on the grounds of the, of the state capitol kind of says to me that, that it's, it's not my capital. Mm -hmm. It's sort of saying it's the you know, the Christians run this, the place. And I, 
they, it's true that the majority of people in this country are, are Christians. Having paid taxes for a long time and served in the military of this country, I kind of claim it. And I feel that behavior like that, putting religious symbols, statements, uh, or practices in the government or on government property is, is if nothing else, it's rude.